Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. <clears throat> um, I am going to be moving my heart-shaped crystals that I keep in this little glass bowl. Um, I'm going to actually move them to this really cute glass swan holder that actually belongs to my step-grandma. Um, we've been cleaning out her bedroom and found a lot of this stuff that she tucked away in boxes um, because she started hoarding and I guess it's part of dementia. Um, they start to like hide their stuff and so we were finding all of these crystal like these glass um, containers and all of this gorgeous stuff and I really really liked the swan. Um, and she has a lot of swans, <laughs> so I knew that was like probably her favorite. Um, and so I'm going to actually use it to hold, um, my crystal hearts since I have so many of them and they are already like <laughs> filled to the top of this little container. So I'm just going to transport them to this one and, um... I use the my crystal hearts for readings and for photos and whatnot. So I've accrued a lot of them over time. Most of them I bought online in online shops. Oops, this one's green jasper. It's really pretty. I love this one too. This one's red jasper. And it's like, looks like fire. <laughs> can use this one to hold tumbled stones or like little like random ones like my ammonite but I have like a lot of little tumbled stones too so I could put those guys in here and that'll be perfect <laughs> I just think it's so pretty. I don't know. I thought it would be perfect, so. I have to find a nice little space for her to sit. Um, and then what I wanted to do was I'm going to start filming um, a client's full moon reading, but I'm going to do a, a full moon reading for myself. Um, so I'm going to work with my favorite deck, the Oracle of Oddities. Um, so we're going to be pretty much tomorrow, um, the 1st of March is going to be the full moon in Virgo and Virgo full moon is, well, Virgo energy is very like, Virgos are very, um, prompt. They're on time. They are organized. They have quite a sting to their words they are very honest, very um, open, and leaders, definitely leaders. Um, Virgo energy is opposite the Pisces, and I am a Pisces, and so Virgo people, not all of them, but many, um, I usually butt heads with, um, and it's usually just belief systems or the way that they choose to live their life um, is different from mine and Virgos are very like focused and very hard worker and what's the word like 
just very organized and they take pride in getting things done. They, you know, they get everything done that they that they start. You know, they're very good with that. Whereas Pisces energy, um, I like to take my time at times. I do get my work done, but I also like to spend time focusing on um, the details. And I am a little lazy and <laughs> I'm not quite as organized as I would like to be. So, you know, it's kind of like an opposite energy for me. But a Virgo full moon is very good with manifesting goals and your desires because it is the time to plan. It is the time to really get ready to, um, you know, get focused, get serious. Um, so that's kind of like the demeanor. But another thing I'm noticing is, um, like for me personally, this full moon is quite a doozy for me. Um, and I feel like Feel like some of us are going to feel the need to get get going with stuff and and you know have our lists and get organized and manifest the things that we want to to accomplish and then there's going to be the other part of us some of us like me um who are going to be more focused on sleeping in tomorrow and taking it easy tomorrow and i'm lucky i have tomorrow off so i'm really going to just do a self-care take care of me day um, so some people I feel are going to be needing the self-care to slow down kind of a day. And then I feel the other people are going to be more like, I want to get this, get, let's get this going. Let's plan it. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to pull cards just to see what my full moon is going to look like. The card that wanted to pop out was embrace. Embrace, air, and air is communication. Self. Mm-hmm. So embracing the self, um, embracing me with the self. So because I wanted to focus on myself, I love that that came up. Um, and then the error, error is thoughts, error is communication. Um, so I do feel like it is quieting the mind, maybe getting in touch with spirit, with the butterflies. Um, you know, meditation is going to be important, so I should be tapping into that. Um... So I love that. The things that I should focus on manifesting this full moon. We have merge, sorrow, the throat chakra. And what was the final card? Oh, voice. Interesting. So manifesting communication, especially with that air card popping up. Communication in my thoughts. Um... I feel like this is more of like merging with the sorrow. This is really, you know, paying attention to the way that I communicate with people, um, opening up space, I feel, for us to speak, um, to share our thoughts, to share what's on our mind. Um, I also feel like this is kind of leading me to doing a, a talk tarot with me because I have not done one. Um, so I feel like this is kind of urging me to do that video to make one. So. Perhaps tomorrow, if I can, um, I will sit down and do a talk tarot with me session with you guys and just have a, a, a talk, <laughs> have a chat. Um, the sorrow card is really prevalent for me because I have been feeling quite the, um, the rocky emotions that come with a crazy full moon. Um, new moons tend to be easier for me. Full moons can be a little wild, depending on the sign that it's in. Um, so I have noticed that this Virgo energy, um, has been making me feel a little, um, uneasy. Um, but I think it has a lot to do with the fact that it's opposite the Pisces sign. So, makes sense. Um, let's see. I have the Keepers of the Light. Let's see who wants to come forward. want a message of guidance Ooh, Shekinah sacred self 
Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So unleashing your spirit, um, expressing gifts. I think that has to do with the spirit communication, how we got the, how I got the butterfly. And I was saying like communication with spirit, meditation, unleashing it, communicate. I love it. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I feel like with the, you know, the white dove, it's peace to me and, um, it's definitely a connection, sacred self. We got the self card. So I feel like that goes hand in hand with taking care of you or taking care of me, myself, um, and spending time alone. I, I think I got, <laughs> I'm pretty much tapping in. So it's kind of cool when you like really trust what you're feeling and you, you kind of start to know what is best for you. And so definitely tomorrow I am going to do a me day. And perhaps I will share with you guys what I do. Um, we'll see since I have it off. But I'm going to get started on the client reading now. And so I just thank you guys for joining me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.